Hello and welcome to a tutorial on the m &E Python Intracranial Electrode Localization GUI. Here I have the GUI pulled up with raw.setmontage none to clear the channel list. So all the channels here are in white so that there are no channel positions. The goal is to take this CT image with the electrode contacts that can be seen as high intensity regions and associate them with a channel. To do this, we'll need the surgical plans shown here that relate where the neurosurgeon was planning to place the electrode with the name that they gave to the electrode on the recording. So here we see uh, this view, which is replicated in the GUI uh, as closely as, as possible. So let's pick an electrode. Here it looks like we're on one. So in order to figure out which contact this is, um, we can show the brain. That can be helpful sometimes because this image has, has the brain, but these have multiple electrodes and they are all projected onto one slice. So what can be really helpful is to use this show max intensity projection button, um, which will show the maximum intensity projection. And here you can see the contact that we're looking at is this one. There are quite a few. This is probably the focus of their epilepsy or where the neurosurgeons think their epilepsy is. Um, and so there are quite a few running this way, but you can see that this one runs uh, flat in the inferior superior plane um, and actually fairly flat um, in the left right plane as well. So if we look at our image, we can see here's two that are coming um, down that are going to be superior to that. So you can see these, these two up here. And so we're going to want one that's just below that. So let's look through our images. Um, and so here we can see a few flat ones. Um, and it's going to be the more superior so of the two of these, because there's another one uh, inferiorly here. So we are looking at, there are two inferiorly here. We are looking at the left planum insula, which is labeled LPLI. So one is generally the depth. So if we're on it, we can go um, and plus is to zoom in. We can click and zoom in to this contact um, and go to the deepest contact. Here we see a great example of a bridged contact. So if the contact is connected via high intensity to the next contact, you might want to turn snap to center off for when you mark it up. If you have snap to center on, that will pick the region with the highest, the voxel with the highest intensity and have a local region surrounding it, um, and then take the center of that, uh, the center mass of that object. So let's go ahead and mark with snap to center on, see if it works. That looks good. I'll turn the radius down to match the size. Um, and then we can go to the next one. And if you have snap to center on, you don't necessarily need to be too careful in every plane because it should be reproducible. But if you have it off, then you really want to make sure that each of the planes is properly on the exact center or as close as you can do to the center um, from each of the planes. So you end up having to click several times. Um, and as they pop up, you can see the shaft um, as two or more are selected. Um, and another helpful feature is to show the maxima, um, which will show the maxima that are being used for this snap to center feature um, and can be helpful for helping you click on the, the center of that um, voxel and label them. And another helpful sanity check is that you end up with the right number of electrodes as you had um, on the recording. So here we have four. We can jump back to four and let's turn snap to center on and do five. Oops, I mislabeled four. So four was actually this one and then I can go on to five six there's the center seven eight nine and now I'm at the bolt where the uh, electrode was inserted, so I ended up with the right number of contacts, which is good, and it looks like it just reaches the end of the peel surface of the brain. Um, and if this was the wrong electrode and it had been misidentified, 
then what we could do is reassign it to another electrode by selecting first that contact to jump to it and then if it was accidentally this one you could jump to that one and select and transfer over one to another and then remove this contact when you were done with the remove. Otherwise I can navigate by selecting this and going to the center for instance of the RAS which will jump to there to the center of the brain uh, or any other coordinate if you have those kind of coordinates for the target of the the electrode. Then when you're finished you will end up with something like in the example and you can look to make sure that each contact was correctly aligned with the 3D uh, alignment in the surgical plans if those are included um, and, and including any switching if needed. Good luck with your localizations uh, and thank you for listening.